Look, next up we've got Stu Yorston. Uh, he is the GM Sustainability and Marketing for Sea Lord. Um, he is responsible for the Sea Lord Group's marketing function and its growing focus on sustainability, including its response to climate change. Stu has had a 20-year career across marketing, working on FMCG and Bear brands uh, with Unilever and Lion in both New Zealand and Australia, uh, and leading marketing and buying uh, with the warehouse. Um, big round of applause uh, for Stu. That was straight off my LinkedIn profile. Um, well done. Uh, tēnā koutou katoa, uh, no ingi rangi, no ai rangi hoki oku tupuna. Uh, kei tamaki, tamaki makaro a hau e noho a, uh, ana, ko Nāti Titiri a hau, ko Stu Toku Ingawa. Um, so, yes, I'm, I'm been a sealer for 11 years. <coughs> I've just picked up uh, sustainability in the last two and a half years, specifically outside of our fishing um, business because that's been part of our core DNA since we started in 1963 in terms of how we fish, where we fish and, and the like and the species we catch. My role, um, uh, probably around 40% of it, is how we adapt and transition our way with all the climate risk that's going to come at us. And I'd, an observation I'd have is one of the things that we haven't talked a lot about today is some of the scenarios that are going <coughs> to excuse me, roll out in terms of uh, climate risk within New Zealand, um, particularly um, warming water and the impact that's going to have. And I did note some saying that um, a uh, mussel farmer won't, won't take $2,600 a tonne for seaweed. And it may be that uh, he doesn't have mussels growing on his lines in 10 or 15 years' time, so he may want to think about having seaweed on his lines in the short term because it was a real opportunity. Um, Sea, uh, sea Lord's uh, purpose or mission or vision, or we want to call it, is to do right by um, our whanau and the environment and, and to bring uh, quality sea field to the world. And uh, that is at the core of what we're trying to do. Um, we are a commercial fisher. We, we acknowledge that we do have some environmental impact uh, when we bottom trawl, and, and until there's a better technology around that, we will continue to do that, but it is a, a, uh, in a, a very, very small part of the ocean. And um, our goal is really to not only feed the world, because we feed everyone from Cameroon uh, to Nigeria to Japan to the US, as well as a lot of people in New Zealand. And in terms of giving back, uh, which I, one of the things uh, someone said, I said, what are the big companies doing? Uh, half of our dividend goes back into iwi um, and to fund communities uh, around New Zealand. So um, I think that from a, from, a, from a sea lord perspective and how we are involved in the blue economy, we are intrinsically aware of the role we play. I'd like to see more stuff around what's happening in the deep sea environment. There's a lot of inshore activity within the, uh, the studies I've seen, a little bit harder in the deep sea, but equally it is an area where we want to be seen to be um, adding more value to, uh, to the products we, uh, we catch. Um, anyway, I'll take some questions as we go forward. Thanks.